Breaking news from SpaceX. Their revolutionary Starship catching system, dubbed Mechazilla, is getting a groundbreaking upgrade that's unlike anything we've seen before. The company has just revealed significant modifications to both the Starship and the catching arm systems, setting new standards in space technology innovation. With Flight 7 on the horizon, the first V-2 flight of the Starship program, SpaceX is laying crucial groundwork for something even bigger. According to Elon Musk, early 2025 could mark a historic milestone, the first ever Starship catch, potentially starting with Flight 8. But what makes this particularly intriguing is the mysterious Ship 35, designated for Flight 9, which is showing fascinating new features that could revolutionize how we think about spacecraft recovery. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we'll dive deep into these cutting-edge developments, examine the unexpected modifications spotted on Ship 35, and explore what these changes mean for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. The story of Ship 35 began on a frost-covered morning at Starbase, when engineers noticed something extraordinary during their routine inspection in Mega Bay 2. What they discovered would change the trajectory of SpaceX's entire catching system program. Against the metallic gleam of the spacecraft's hull, a series of previously unseen modifications caught the morning light. But this was just the beginning of a much bigger revelation. The first hint of something revolutionary came when a senior engineer, working late into the night, noticed unusual structural patterns in Ship 35's design schematics. These weren't just random modifications. They were part of an intricate system that had been in development behind closed doors for months. The rectangular holes along the payload section, precisely positioned every few meters, represented just the visible tip of a technological iceberg. Remember Flight 6? When SpaceX removed those 2,000 tiles, most thought it was routine maintenance. Now we know it was actually a crucial test for something far more ambitious. Internal documents reveal that SpaceX had been secretly stress-testing a new composite material, one that could withstand re-entry temperatures while maintaining the structural integrity needed for the catching system. Early tests showed promising results with heat resistance capabilities exceeding previous materials by 200%. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. During initial testing of the new lifting alignment points, engineers discovered something completely unexpected. The interaction between the ship's new structural elements and the Earth's magnetic field created an unusual stabilizing effect, something they're now calling the Musk effect. While unplanned, this phenomenon could potentially increase catching accuracy by up to 45% in certain conditions. The development of these systems wasn't without its dramatic moments. During a crucial test in October, a prototype of the new catching mechanism experienced a catastrophic failure that sent engineers back to the drawing board. But instead of setback, this became a breakthrough moment. The failure revealed a fundamental flaw in their approach, leading to the development of the current dynamic rotation system. A solution so elegant that even competing aerospace engineers have privately expressed admiration. The real game changer came during a routine simulation when a junior engineer noticed something everyone else had missed. The new rectangular holes weren't just passive connection points. They were part of an active stabilization network that could adapt to changing atmospheric conditions in real time. This discovery led to the development of what insiders are calling Project Phoenix, a neural network controlled stabilization system that could revolutionize spacecraft landing technology. Chrome Kiwi's detailed analysis on X only scratches the surface. Behind the scenes, SpaceX has been developing a bearing system unlike anything seen before in aerospace engineering. The black ring assembly, visible in recent footage, houses a series of micro-actuators capable of adjusting to wind variations within milliseconds. Early testing showed such promising results that several senior engineers were moved to tears during the first successful demonstration. The heat shield configuration presented another fascinating challenge. Traditional static protection wouldn't work with the new system, leading to the development of a revolutionary cooling approach. Using principles borrowed from nature, specifically the temperature regulation systems of desert beetles, SpaceX created a dynamic heat management system that adapts to re-entry conditions in real time. This brings us to the crucial connection between Ship 34 and Ship 35, a story of competition and collaboration within SpaceX itself. 
two teams working independently develop different approaches to the catching system. Ship 34's design, while solid, followed a more conventional path. But Ship 35's innovations were so groundbreaking that they forced a complete rethinking of the program's direction. The manufacturing breakthrough came when SpaceX successfully integrated advanced robotics into their production line. This wasn't just about speed, it was about precision. The new components required tolerances so tight that traditional manufacturing methods couldn't cope. The solution? A hybrid system combining AI-driven quality control with human expertise, reducing production time by 40% while improving accuracy by 300%. Meanwhile, at the Starbase facility, testing of the enhanced chopstick system revealed another surprising discovery. The new bearing-equipped lifting pins demonstrated an unexpected property. They could self-align under certain conditions, much like the way a compass needle finds north. This magnetic resonance alignment, as engineers are calling it, could be the key to achieving the millimeter-precise accuracy needed for successful catches at high altitudes. The competition's response to these developments has been telling. Blue Origin and ULA find themselves in an increasingly difficult position, their traditional approaches looking increasingly outdated. Industry experts estimate it would take them three to four years just to replicate SpaceX's current capabilities, let alone match their rate of innovation. In China, LandSpace's progress with the Juga rocket family shows promise but their recent $123 million funding boost might have come too late. Their approach to reusability, while impressive, still relies on conventional landing methods. Sources suggest their engineers have been carefully studying SpaceX's patents, but the gap in technological capability continues to widen. The implications of these developments extend far beyond technical achievements. Success with Ship 35's catching system could reduce turnaround time between launches by 60%, potentially revolutionizing space travel economics. Early estimates suggest this could decrease launch costs by an additional 30%, making space more accessible than ever before. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of this story isn't about technology at all, it's about the people behind it. The teams working on these systems have sacrificed countless hours, missed family events, and pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Their dedication has led to breakthrough after breakthrough, each one bringing us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as air travel. The recent footage from Starbase shows the massive scale of these operations, but it doesn't capture the human element. The late night breakthrough moments, the failed tests that led to unexpected discoveries, and the camaraderie that develops when pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Every modification, every new feature on Ship 35 represents countless hours of problem solving innovation, and determination. Recent thermal imaging tests of the new cooling system produced results so unprecedented that several senior engineers initially thought their equipment was malfunctioning. The system didn't just manage heat, it redirected it using principles that could revolutionize not just spacecraft design, but energy management across multiple industries. This discovery alone has generated dozens of new patents and could spawn entirely new fields of engineering. As we look ahead to 2025, SpaceX's innovations with Ship 35 in the Mechazilla catching system mark more than just technological advancement. They represent a fundamental shift in how we approach space travel. While competitors like Blue Origin and China's Land Space continue their pursuit, SpaceX's groundbreaking developments with Starship have already set new industry standards that could take years to match. The upcoming flights 8 and 9 will be critical moments in aerospace history. With the enhanced catching system, revolutionary heat shield design, and advanced stabilization mechanisms, we're not just watching rocket launches, we're witnessing the birth of truly reusable spaceflight. This is Kevin from Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest in SpaceX innovations. If you want to stay updated on these groundbreaking developments, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Don't forget to leave your thoughts about Ship 35's new features in the comments below. I'd love to hear your predictions about the first successful catch. Drop a like if you found this information valuable and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who need to see these exciting developments. Remember, we're not just tracking SpaceX's progress. We're witnessing history in the making.
See you in the next video on Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we'll continue exploring the future of space travel. Breaking news shaping the future of space exploration. The U.S. Air Force has officially confirmed plans to test a military version of SpaceX's Starship, marking a groundbreaking milestone in space transportation. But that's just the beginning. SpaceX has unveiled a much-anticipated flight recap, showcasing exclusive, never-before-seen footage of their second orbital test. What they revealed is nothing short of extraordinary. Meanwhile, Relativity Space is turning heads with impressive progress on their engine development, signaling they might be catching up to SpaceX faster than anyone anticipated. And stay tuned, because there's an incredible update about the OSIRIS-REx mission that will leave you amazed. I'm here to bring you the latest and most exciting news in space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Starting with the most anticipated news, SpaceX's official flight recap of the second orbital test has finally dropped, and it's absolutely spectacular. Inside their surprisingly compact mission control center, a dedicated team of engineers guided humanity's largest rocket through its impressive journey. While some of this footage has made its way to social media, what truly captivates are the never-before-seen perspectives that SpaceX has now revealed. The infrared footage of the Super Heavy Booster's engines is particularly mesmerizing. 33 Raptor engines performing in perfect harmony, pushing against Earth's gravity with unprecedented power. But what really steals the show are the onboard camera views we've all been waiting for. Imagine being right there on the booster, watching the massive grid fin against the backdrop of Earth's curvature with the Mechazilla catch points visible in frame. Then comes that breathtaking moment of separation, Starship gracefully pulling away from Super Heavy, both vehicles charting their own paths through the upper atmosphere. Speaking of what's next, SpaceX isn't wasting any time. Booster 10 has already emerged from the Mega Bay, sporting its full complement of 33 Raptor 5 2 engines and the crucial hot staging ring. While it waits in the rocket garden, Ship 28 is preparing for its own debut. The self-propelled modular transporters have already entered the high bay, signaling an imminent rollout. But here's where things get really interesting. The testing schedule ahead looks intense. First comes the spin prime test, ensuring those complex Raptor turbo pumps are functioning perfectly. Then, in what's always a spectacular display, we'll see a full six-engine static fire light up the Texas sky. Based on current progress, Ship 28 should complete all its testing before the year ends. At the launch site itself, transformation is in full swing. Thanks to stunning aerial footage from Redline Heli, we can see crews working simultaneously on both the oxygen and methane sides of the orbital tank farm. New tanks are being mounted on their pedestals, with a protective wall being constructed to shield them from launch debris. A fascinating mystery is unfolding near the launch tower. Workers have been spotted digging channels in a former parking lot. While speculation about a second tank farm has circulated, the space constraints make this unlikely. More probable is the construction of a water storage and pump system that would eliminate the need for constant water deliveries to the launch pad's deflector system. The evolution of Starbase continues beyond the launch facilities. The second mega bay is taking shape with nearly half its glass panels installed. Meanwhile, the Star Factory is entering its final construction phase, with foundations laid and roof sections beginning to rise. Perhaps most intriguingly, SpaceX is essentially building its own town, with employee housing rapidly expanding through both permanent structures and temporary barracks. But the most groundbreaking development might be happening behind the scenes. The U.S. Air Force has revealed new details about their plans to adapt Starship for military cargo transport. The concept is ambitious, delivering up to 100 tons of cargo anywhere on Earth in less than an hour. This isn't just speculation. SpaceX has already received $102 million to demonstrate these capabilities. The timeline is aggressive. 2024 will focus on gathering flight data, which SpaceX is already sharing with the Air Force from their orbital tests. By 2025, they'll begin testing cargo operations using a full-scale Starship mock-up. 
The real demonstrations are set for 2026, when SpaceX will need to prove they can rapidly launch and recover these massive payloads, including, surprisingly, equipment as large as a Humvee. Meanwhile, at Relativity Space, a potential SpaceX competitor is making remarkable progress. After successfully sending their 3D-printed Terran 1 rocket past the edge of space, they've pivoted to an even more ambitious project, the Terran R. This partially reusable heavy lift vehicle aims to deliver over 30,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, potentially rivaling both Falcon 9 and Blue Origin's new Glenn. The heart of this new rocket is the Aeon R engine, and Relativity's development pace has been nothing short of extraordinary. In just over a year, they progressed from initial thrust chamber testing to preparing for full engine static fires at NASA's